What is up, Power Maniacs? Power Stace is here, and today we're going to be taking a look at slash possibly starting a brand new Let's Play. Uh, this is a game called Subnautica. Some of you guys have heard of this game. It's been out for a little while. Uh, it's a game that's available on Steam, and um, pretty solid game. I'm actually... It's one of those games that I, I was aware of, but I never got into it because I didn't think it would really be my thing. And I was kind of surprised when I started playing it the other day and kind of got sucked in for quite a few hours. Uh, I'm definitely not a master of the game. This is going to be kind of like a just a blind let's play with me knowing a little bit about the first start of the game. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get things kicked off here. We are going to start a new game as opposed to the game that I already started. Um, yeah, the options are uh, freedom, hardcore, survival and creative. We're just going to start off with survival. We may end up doing hardcore eventually, but for now we're going to just do this. This looks kind of cool. And we'll see what happens. It's a beautiful game, by the way. Absolutely beautiful game. That is an amazing looking ship right there. We's running. We's running. All right, I do have one complaint about this part here. I'm going to show you guys in a second. Watch that little panel on the far left. And this isn't me, by the way. This is all it. Boom. Okay. Now, notice the extinguisher. The panel and the extinguisher are flying at different rates. Pretty sure that extinguisher should be bouncing around a little bit too if that panel's flying around like crazy. Just saying. Just saying. This is definitely not how you want to wake up in your escape pod, by the way. Definitely not. <laughs> Alright. Now it's me. Let's go ahead and pick this up and put it out. Put it out. Please. Alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. Ish. As good as we can possibly be anyways. Alright, booting up into emergency Greetings, mode. Survivor. Great job not dying. Thank you. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations. You have been issued this personal data assistant. Oh. The interface visible now will organize your inventory. Display currently available construction blueprints and holds other valuable information. Please take right, a yeah. moment to familiarize yourself with it. All right, so we have our oxygen here. That's how much we can breathe, obviously, or how much air we have in our lungs, technically. Uh, that's our health. That's our food. That's our water. Uh, these are going to be pretty critical early on. Uh, this is your inventory here. Right now we have our fire extinguisher, which we really don't care about, so I am going to... Oh. All right, that's fine. We'll drop it there later. Uh, blueprints. These are all the different recipes that we have available to us, things that we know we could build uh, if we had the parts for them. Uh, log. This is all the different audio logs that we've got. Photo album, uh, pictures that we can take. Uh, and then I guess this is just like data bank, et cetera, et cetera. So um, we don't really care about the fire extinguisher for now. Now, the big issue now is this is actually damaged. So... Uh, this stuff right here is going to kind of charge itself up. There's nothing we can do with it for the moment, at least that I'm aware of. Um, but we are we are kind of screwed here in the aspect that this is this is broke. Uh, this works, which is nice. Uh, a lot of stuff we can do here, but there's nothing that we have any materials for because all we've got is a fire extinguisher. Now, we can go up or we can go down. I'm going to exit up once. Uh, I'm usually probably going to go out the bottom, but we're going to show you. That is our ship. Uh, what's left of it? Uh, that's a fish. As you can see, there's basically nothing here. So let's let's get started. Isn't this beautiful? So we come down here and you break limestone and you get different ores from doing so. So we're gonna we're gonna acquire a few things here as we move around. God, this game's fucking gorgeous. Isn't it? I mean, is it not just beautiful? Break that real quick. That's some titanium. Uh, we need to watch our, our oxygen here. Let's go ahead and surface again. Oh, wow. Those are like 
critters way up there. I didn't know there were like flying critters. All right, so we're gonna wanna get a couple pieces of food here. So we're gonna try and capture some fishies. Right, let's break this. Hopefully not by slamming the fish's poor innocent body into the, uh, the side there. Uh, I'm trying to find a few more things. There we go. These are pieces of our ship that broke down. All right, let's pick this up too. There we go, let's go up. Definitely don't wanna drown. God, that's beautiful. There we go. Uh, there's a little pod. Now, I don't know if we can actually push this. I've heard we can. Let's see, can we move it? I think I am actually moving it. I've heard that you can move this around. Um, we're just gonna enter from the bottom. There we go. All right, so now that we've done this, um, let's, let's click on this. Let's click on resources. We can make titanium. That's the little stuff we brought in from the metal salvage. We're turning it into the titanium pieces. Uh, if we get enough of those, we can actually turn them into uh, titanium bars, which we don't really care about right now. Uh, and then we are going to go ahead and cook this boomerang fish real fast. There we go. Now that he's now that he's cooked, he's edible. Um, there we go. And we can just left click on that, and you notice it did feed up a little bit there. Now we need to start looking at some of the stuff on here. So tools wise. Um, we make pipes, which we don't care about. Thermometer, we don't care about. First aid kit, we may care about that in the future. Still suit, that could be nice, but we're not worried about it yet. Reinforced dive suit, radiation suit, fins. So we need some silicone rubber, and we're gonna need some glass. Now glass, I think we've got stuff to make now, don't we? I guess we've only got one piece of, of that. So we are gonna need some more glass. Uh, creep vine seed clusters, we're gonna need to get, um, that other thing, tools. So we're gonna need a scanner soon. So that's gonna need a battery. Uh, welder, we're gonna need that to fix this. We need magnesium and crash powder. Uh, magnesium we get from salt deposits. So we're gonna need salt deposits as well. Um, so basically right now we need glass and a few other things. Okay, let's see if we can't. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Uh -oh. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained oh, during splendid. collision. Continuing to monitor. That sounds all sorts of pleasant. And I'm being extremely facetious there, in case that wasn't clear. Um, where are the creep vines? I'm not seeing any creep vines. There's some big ass little dudes over there. Alright, I'll surface. All right, where's our little thing? Here we go. All right, making our glass. There we go. And we'll make a little bit more titanium. Now, I'm not going to turn the titanium into titanium bars. I made that mistake in a previous version uh, and kind of learned that that doesn't really work well for us. So we are going to take, we are going to make a, a waterproof storage container for down below. Uh, reason I'm doing that is I want to store some things underwater here in a bit. Uh, and then we want to start making an oxygen tank if I can. Okay, we'll go ahead and make one of those. That's gonna give us 30 extra seconds. Right now, you see we're at 45. Now we're at 75. So that's gonna almost double our time underwater, which is gonna be pretty helpful. All right, let's uh, let's go down. And then we need to find creeper vines somewhere. Um, Jesus. I didn't think the world was procedurally generated. I'd heard people complaining about that, but it does kind of look procedurally generated to me. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. I'm um, not seeing any creeper vines anywhere. Uh, they're kind of hard to miss. They're these giant plant-like structures. Let's, uh, let's hop up here again. Uh, okay, maybe over here. There's some creeper vines. See them over there? In the far distance. God, I hope you guys are friendly. I haven't spent much time with them, so I'm honestly not sure. All right, we're gonna try and spend some time up on the surface if we can to keep our oxygen. Uh, there we go, now we're good, now we're good, now we're good. All right, so let's surface, and then we're gonna put, we're gonna put this thing, I guess, right here will work. So we're gonna place it right here, I guess. Perfect. Okay, so now I can access it from here. There we go. 
And then we want to shift left click to, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now we got this thing down here. It's our little storage guy. Uh, I'm going to have to remember where he is roughly. Where's our, where's our little guy? Okay. So if the ship is right there, he's right there. He's here. Okay, good. So we're going to swim over here and see if we can't find, we need salt. And we need, oh god, I gotta be careful of these little guys here. These guys are not my friends. Not my friends. Let's surface real quick. Hoping, oh god! Is this still chasing me? All right, it's backed off. Okay. That could have been problematic. Damn it, he's like guarding that shit. That's not fair, man. Right, let's come over here and break these little, real quick. Okay, that's copper. That's titanium. I don't... Well, I will need one of these here in a minute. So we're going to pick up one of those. Uh, the acid blooms you need for batteries. Which we're going to need one of here in a minute for our scanner. Right, let's come back down. That's glass. That's copper. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, it's about to be nighttime. I don't know if that helps or hurts me. Right, let's get down here. I figure if we come down low, he might forget about me. Still trying to get over here by the creeper vines. There we go. There's some salt. Oh, he's behind me. I think I got the salt deposit. There's what we're looking for. See those little yellow things down here? We'll pick up a few of those. I think those give us rubber, which will give us... Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to dodge it. No, 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 no. Move! Swim, Cletus! Swim for your life! Alright, there's our little thing over there. Alright. All right, so we got one piece of salt, I think. There's a couple more. We're going to try and pick these up real quick without getting killed. Okay, there's one and two. All right, let's move. I'm doing well. The critters haven't attacked and killed me yet. They've tried to attack me, but I was too quick for them. Come here, come here. You look yummy. Well, I use that word very loosely because I'm not sure if you actually... I don't know if yummy is the correct word. Yeah, we'll take that guy as well. There we go. I don't know if yummy is, is actually the correct word there, but he looks edible. I feel bad for this poor bastard. I'm like holding him in my hands. Like, no, man. Come on, dude. Don't do me like that. Sorry, bro. Nothing personal. All right. So we can now make lubricant. We can now make magnesium and we can now make silicone rubber. So let's go look at what we want first. So... Uh, can't do the welder because we're going to need crash powder. But two titanium and a battery. So we do want to make a battery. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to make a battery. There it is. So we can make one battery here. There we go. And then we need titanium, which is going to be down below. I'm going to have to go grab some of that. Uh, I do need a little bit of food, but I'm not going to eat the air sac. Because uh, we can use them for other things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the cooked pepper real quick. There we go. That'll give us some food, which will hopefully fill us up a bit. Uh, and then I'd kind of like some fins if I can. I don't really care about that. Survival knife. Eh, I don't really care about that. So what about the fins? Where are the fins? Silicone rubber. All right. That's not a problem. Uh, silicone rubber. There we go. That's one. That's two. That's three. All right, so now we come over here and we can make fins. Fins are going to let us swim much quicker, which should hopefully help in, in the processes of everything else. All right, how are we doing on inventory space here? Uh, we want to eat this guy. All right, that fills us up a bit. Um, so we got salt deposits. We got some other things. All right, so I need to go get some of that metal that I deposited. I got to find that, which is going to be possibly challenging. Okay, so if I recall... We want to swim over in this direction, and it was on one of the hills. Oh, that looks like more salt, so I'm going to help myself to some of that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, was it over here? It shouldn't be that hard to find. I do need that air sack. Come here, buddy. There we go. 
Was it over here? There it is. Perfect. All right. Open it up. Let's take... I guess we'll just fill up our inventory with everything but that extinguisher for now. All right, let's head, let's head back. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh god, he is mad. You better swim fast, sea bass. Get inside our little container here. Jesus Christ. Thankfully, he only got like a little piece of me, so... My god. All right. No more titanium. Um, That's magnesium. Radiation suit. It's fiber mesh and lead plate. I don't think I need that yet. Okay, we can make a survival knife. We can make an air bladder. Chemical reaction reduces lighter than air. Yeah, I don't really need that, honestly. Not yet. Um, I do want the welder if we can get it. And we we're eventually gonna need a habitat builder, but a habitat builder is a little bit more complicated. So to get this, we need magnesium and we need crash powder. So the magnesium's easy, because we got that. So we'll make that real quick. There we go. So we got that, not a problem. Can I make my my knife still? Yes, and we'll make our survival knife. It's not gonna do as much good, because most things here, they'll kill you and kill you dead. Did I make the scanner yet? I didn't, I don't think I did. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core Battery. may cause a quantum detonation. Oh. Calculating risk assessment. Death oh. by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. Oh. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Well, ain't that fucking splendid. So, ooh, hang on, he's right here. It's okay, I'm just, I'm just probing you, Gasopod. He's kind of nasty, man. It was that like a giant underwater fart? Because that's what it looked like. Okay, I guess we scanned him. All right, let's pick this dude up real quick. Come here. No, I want him. All right, there we go. Fuck scanning him. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was awkward. Um, I'm not sure what we lost. Shouldn't have been much, because it was like right here. That pissed me off, man. You guys are dicks. I never did nothing to y'all. I was just, I was just looking. And you guys like, shit on me and killed me. That's just hateful. All right, so we need, oh, is that it? No, we're not, we're not taking the creature egg. There's a specific thing I'm looking for down here if I can find it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go into that tube. We're looking for, and it's funny, all these survival games do seem to have very similarities to Minecraft. And so what I'm looking for here is, where is it? There it is. See that little guy right there? Move, 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 move. All right, we're good. There we go. Crash powder. That's basically this game's version of a creeper. You don't want to make too much too much friends with them because they are not nice. They aren't nice at all. They they kind of explode all over you and not in a good way. Not that something exploding all over you is is ever something good. There we go. All right. So now that we got crash powder. Uh, I think we are almost capable. We are able to make our welder. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now that we have our welder, we just select that thing. There we go. And we put this thing back together. Done. And then right over here. I think this is the only other thing that's broken. Okay. Is that it? Captain, a new message has arrived. Oh! Playing message. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. That's five nines. Nine, 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 nine. That's five hours. Divided by 24 equals 
4,116 days divided by 365 uh, in 11.4 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Out fucking standing. So I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be here for a while. Apparently, um, we now have a med kit, which apparently I probably could have gotten early, which would have been nice, I guess. Um, all right. So the other thing that we're gonna want to make now is a habitat builder, which requires a battery and a computer chip. Um, battery is we just need one more acid mushroom. Computer chip though, we need some silver ore and some core samples. Okay, core. Wait, was it core? Hang on. Table coral. Okay, so silver and table coral. Okay, not a problem. All right, can I get my mouse back? Thank you. All right, down we go. Silver and table coral. Now, table coral, I believe, is... What the hell was that? Yes. Give me that. All right, so there's one, two, three. All right, so we got plenty of those, I guess. Okay. Can I scan this? Negative. Okay. Now I need silver. And then we can start making some kind of slightly more permanent structure here. I think. I'm going to grab this air sack dude again. I'm going to scan him first. Hang on. Whoa! Hey, get on here. I'm going to grab you too. Uh, the reason you want to grab these air sack guys is you can use them to make water. And I mean, technically they can be used for food, but... Um, if you grab them, we can make an aquarium with them eventually, and we basically breed them. And so when you breed them, they possibly can make, basically it's infinite water, which is going to be something that's going to become more and more problem here soon. Uh, did I cook this? I think I did. Actually, I don't, maybe I ate that raw. Ew. Alright, so our little storage thing is over here somewhere. Which means there's the plants. Okay. So what we're looking for now is we need silver. Now, silver uh, apparently spawns more frequently over in this area. And how much room do I have left? Not much. It looks like these little limestone deposits, but apparently they're mainly on the ground. But they do spawn in the creeper vine area, supposedly, more frequently. Unfortunately, you have to deal with... Uh, those dick bags, which are not friendly to Pyro. Yep, there's one trying to chew on me. Thankfully, I'm apparently quicker than he is. I'm hoping that's got me away from him. All right, we need to find silver. So we're looking for limestone pieces. Warning, 30 seconds Fuck. Of oxygen All right, let's remain. climb. We gotta climb. We'll come back down here in just a second. Easy, 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 easy. All right, there we go. Oxygen full. All right, we're looking for limestone pieces. Limestone pieces possibly on the ground, which are kind of hard to find here. God, this game's gorgeous. <gasps> Don't see me. Don't see me. Um. Oh, Jesus, this is fucking deep, man. Uh, no. Those are bad. Jellyfish are always bad. Okay. I'm not seeing any limestone down here. And I want to be careful not to get stuck. Because, you know, drowning, not good, contrary to popular belief. Getting close, 36 seconds left of uh, oxygen. Come on, we just, there we go. Please. Warning, Silver, nice. Seconds of oxygen All right, remaining. that should get us what we need. Let's surface. All right, I think that's all we needed, if I recall. So, a lot of the game, or and the game's challenge or the game's difficulty is is kind of twofold. Uh, first off, it's one. What the hell is that? One is finding all of these different mechanics. So, you know, you're basically turning natural resources into things that you can actually use. So, you need to find those things first off. Once you find them. Then it's okay, you know, now I know where to go to get X or go to get Y, etc., etc. So that's that's the first hurdle, so to speak. Perfect computer chip. And then after that, it's basically just finding a way to make yourself self-sustained, which is kind of a problem. All right, so now I just need a battery, which we should be able to make just fine now. There we go. And that 
gives us the Habitat Builder. Fucking right on. Perfect. All right. What do you say we go downstairs and make ourselves some kind of uh, construct? So here we go. That's what it looks like. Looks like it's uh, some kind of dual-pronged alien device. Uh, I do want to pick up a few more of you guys. There we go. All right, let's pick up this metal real quick because we're going to need a lot of metal to make what we're going to be making. You can see this stuff's kind of all Warning. over the place. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora Star oh, shit. matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Oh, shit. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. That's not good. At all. Okay, we're good there. All right, let's go down. We should be able to build something now. All right, so this is our little setup. There's a corridor. There's a large aquarium. There's a bulkhead. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, and a multi-purpose room. So we're going to build a multi-purpose room. Um, where do we want to build this thing? Probably closer to this area over here. Because I have a feeling we're going to be doing... Let's build it down here. This looks pretty. Yeah. Let's build it uh, right there. Okay. So we need five. Left click to construct. Okay. Oh, sick, dude. Fucking right on. Now, did you notice it knocked all the ground out? So it kind of makes it a little bit more secure. That's cool. All right, now we need a hatch. Uh, but we need glass. Okay, so we'll, we'll set our first hatch right here. Perfect. I need glass. Uh, here we go. How many quartzes do we have? Quartz shouldn't be too hard to find. Let's surface real quick. We're going to need a lot of quartz, by the way. Um, there's one. Yeah, one right over here. That should give us two glass, I think it is. How much quartz do we have? Uh, we have two quartz. I don't think I have any glass, though. Unfortunately. I need to be careful of these dick bags. They're not really nice. I mean, they're not really hostile, but they do poop out little balls that, as you can see, definitely not Pyro's best friend. Uh, there's some quartz there. Now that's my only concern about this. I've I've done some reading and supposedly the world doesn't regen normally. So like if you mine something, that's it. So you gotta be careful with that stuff. And you end up having to go further and further away supposedly eventually to get all the stuff you need. Which has me a little concerned. All right, we got room. Let's pick this up if we can, can we? Nope. Okay. Let's surface. So this is going to give us some more titanium and it's going to give us two pieces of glass. Now, I don't know how many pieces of glass we need for the large aquarium. Uh, there we go. Boom. Okay. Glass. I think that's all I've got. No? That's three pieces of glass. Okay, is there anything else? Uh, we can make magnesium, but I don't, I don't care about magnesium for right now. All right, let's drop. Where's our little structure? I think it's over here. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. All right. This should get us inside. Whoops. Nice. Oh, sick, baby! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Alright, and then I want to build an aquarium in here. So I need... It says I have two glass on me. Do I have two glass on me? So I just need four more. Okay, can I leave here? Okay, no. Dude, this is sick! Oh, wow, dude. Like, it opens right into an underwater tunnel. Oh, it's bad as hell. Alright, so we need... Four more quartz, which we should easily be able to find. There's one, there's two, 
There's two more. And that should give us all that we need for... Uh-oh, something's coming in behind me. Ooh. Let's head home. That should be all we need for that. And I know that one right there, the only thing we've got left in that is just the... Uh... Oh, wow. Was it on fire before? I think so. You know, the funny thing is, for something that crashed, it came down pretty much intact. You know? I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that, honestly. Alright, uh, glass. There's one. There's two. I think that's all the glass we needed. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, here. If we come upstairs, I mean, look at that thing. Like, yeah, it's on fire and shit, but, I mean, all things considered, that's got a lot of salvage on it. So that's probably where we need to head over there soon. Uh, hang on. Okay, yeah, this direction. Always takes me a minute to reorient to figure out all that shit. All right. So if we can if we can make this work, I think these guys will rebreed for us, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we want an aquarium. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, my God. It's like the whole room's going to be a fucking aquarium. Oh, my God. That's sick. Okay. So, how do I put this guy in here? Emergency. Seismic readings suggest Wait. quantum detonation has occurred in the what? Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, God. 3, 2. Holy shit! Well, it's not so intact anymore. And coincidentally, there's fewer little things on the side now. Oh, wow. There is birds. Okay, so the thing's on fire now, and apparently radioactive as fuck. So, that's not good. So, we're gonna want to be careful with that. Um, probably gonna have to figure out a way for us to deal with uh, the radiation. I, I, did, I do think we saw a radiation suit. So, just to let you guys know, this is as far as I've gotten to in the game prior to this. Come here, buddy. You stop running. I want you. Wait, where did he go? Damn it. All right, I lost him. Fuck it. This is as far as I've gotten to in the game. Uh, minus this, of course. All right, so how do I put this inside of here? Do I just, like, right-click him in there? Can't I drop item here, storage container, and set. There's got to be a way to put this thing inside of here. It's an aquarium. So, hmm. Do I have to make a hatch on top of here? Large aquarium. Wait. Large aquarium, hold E to deconstruct. I do not want to deconstruct it. Um, a window, corridor, multi-purpose, large glass corridor, ladder, foundation, reinforcement, connector, bulkhead? No. Okay. So yeah, I have to, I have to basically go in and get them. All right, so I need one glass to do this. This is gonna be sick. This is gonna be sick. All right, so we need two more quartzes, which thankfully should be pretty easy to spot at night because they kind of glow, kind of, ish. No, that's not them. Um, whoops. I need to be careful because I'm now swimming towards the uh, the antimatter detonated stuff. Oh, oh, these right here. Um, these are parts of fragments. So we scan them, and they give us basically recipes for different stuffs. How much room do I have? I have plenty of room. Right, let's pick up the salt over here because we're going to need it here in a minute. All right, thank you. Whoop. Okay. We're good. Damn it. I just need... Is that some quartz? Yeah. I need one more. One more quartz. Come on. There's got to be some around here somewhere. So yeah, my, my concern is the longer I play the game, the harder some of the stuff is going to get to be get, get to find because I'm going to have to go further and further and further from base. So I'm just curious. I, I don't know if they plan on making things um, respawn 
Because, like, I, I've heard that you can actually, like, run out of fish and shit, which is why I built an aquarium, like, right off the bat. Because we're going to need... Because, basically, if I make an aquarium there, they will reproduce. Which is nice. Emergency. Ten seconds oh. Of oxygen there we go. All right. Kind of scared me there for a second. It's like the last time it told me emergency, you know, the base blew the fuck up. So, all right, let's go hit this up. Now, my question now is, I've heard that I can actually move. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need to eat sooner. I'm going to starve to death. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, glass real quick. There's one. There's two. Do we have any more we can make? Nope. All right, let's do titanium. Wow, four titanium per piece of that? That's actually pretty good. All right. Um, I'm going to make one. I really don't want to eat many of these if I can help it. Because I need them to breed. So that's cooked air sac plus 16. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, that's, that's good for now. Um, I guess I can cook two more. Well, we're going to cook here. We're going to make one out of water. I have to use the air sac to use that. I'm going to make one more food. And that, that should give me a decent number of these guys to put into my aquarium. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure I'm actually eating and drinking the right one. Uh, there's our bottle of filtered water. And there's our cooked air sac. So we have three normal air sacs. Okay, that, that brought us up a decent amount. It's not perfect, but it's still good. Um, where is the ship? Right there. So we want to go this way. Now, I'll probably make a beacon for this thing here in a bit. Uh, supposedly, you can make beacons, and the beacons will point you towards different um, places that you want. So, we should be able to get in and out of here. So, now that we've got this, we've got our, whoops, our little, oh, there we go. Done. Hold E to deconstruct. Okay, there's our hatch. Am I inside of here? Oh, there it goes. So we want to put one in there and two in there and three. That's awesome. Now they swim around. So my question, oh, I'm inside here with them. Okay, well, I am going to steal one of them and then I'm going to leave. So those two should breed over time. I'm hoping. I really am hoping. Oh wow. We need to get some more food though in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab one more air sac here. And we need this guy here. Because we're gonna need number one, I'm starving. But we need to keep some of these guys in our little foodie place. There's two. Whoops. Let's grab you. Dude, where are you going, bro? My question is how many of these things can I keep in here without like negatively impacting no did i get him damn it they're hard to catch all right there we go grab him got him uh i don't know what the fuck those things are but i ain't putting it in my mouth that's what she said all right let's go back around i don't know how fast they will reproduce okay so there's two in there now let's go ahead and enter in here so, now that we're inside, let's drop two peepers and two boomerangs. Okay. Let's leave. So, we've got, we've got two of everything-ish in here. But we don't have any power. So, let's, let's go back upstairs real quick. Surface. And I'm curious if we can move our boat in this direction. Where is it? Okay, so we don't have to move it far. Just a little bit. So we want to move it in that general direction. Let's see if we can move it. Alright, I don't know if I'm pushing this thing. It feels like I am. Okay, I guess I can tell if, if we get closer. Keep pushing. My question is, can I connect the two? Because that would be fucking sick. If I can connect... Because there's like tubes and shit. So if I can connect my boat... Are we making progress? I can't really tell. We'll push it a little bit further. 
I think I'm making progress. I think so. Uh, maybe not. Well, let's keep pushing into it. Just keep swimming. I think I'm making some progress, but no, we are not making any progress. If we are, it's very, very slow. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any progress there at all. Okay, that's fine. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, so let's cook these fishes. Whoops, wrong setup. Kind of feel bad cooking these all. Because they, I mean, like, he's still alive. He's like, no, dude, no! I'm like, sorry, man. Oh, I should have made water out of those guys. What was I thinking? That would have been two full glasses of water. God dang it. Oh, well. At least we're not going to be starving now. So, boom. 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 All right, we're full. So, at this point, I just need more water. And we should be good to go. Well, I think that's a pretty good start for our first episode. Um, we'll head back. I, I do want to take one more look and see if our, our little fish are growing. I don't know. Did we move that thing at all? I feel like I did. Yeah, that's a lot closer than it was. That's a lot closer than it was. It, it, it needs work. But it's, it's, it's a, I mean, I can see it now. So definitely, we definitely moved Welcome it closer. Aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Um, we still only have two, two, and two. So it says we have zero power. Maybe I have to power this thing before the aquarium does anything? I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Either way, I feel like we're still alive. I feel like we've made some progress. Uh, we're gonna move our little boat thing a little bit closer in the next episode, kind of get it right on top of there. And then I'm gonna see if I can't connect the two. Because I think that would just be amazing if like we could connect this to the surface. And we're gonna get like full-blown like gerbil aquarium type setup. If you guys have ever seen those like gerbil farms, does that make sense? I think it'll be badass. I think it'll be badass. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.